Hey everybody, Greg Davies here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a photo gallery in Dreamweaver. I've got a blank HTML page here. I've already saved it as gallery.html. First, let's create a table to lay out the gallery. Let's go to the Insert panel, Command tab, and select Table. Let's do four rows, five columns, 500 pixels wide, zero border, zero cell padding, and zero cell spacing. No header, no caption, and no summary. I hit OK. And here's my table. I want to align center. And I've already created my images. They are inside of this images folder. I just grab the first one and drag it into this cell. The alternate text will be 1 because this is image 1. I hit OK. And uh, my images are 500 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. But in my gallery, I want them to show up as being 150 pixels wide and 150 pixels tall. So I keep the original 1 to 1 aspect ratio. And I haven't touched the image itself. It's still 500 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. I just want it to show up as being 150 pixels wide and 150 pixels tall. Now if you place a lot of large images in one gallery, you may want to create reduced size thumbnail images so your page will load faster. I'm not going to do that right now. Just insert all of these images just like that. Grab my second image and drag it into this cell. The alternate text will be 2. I hit OK. And I reduce the size to 150 pixels wide and 150 pixels tall. I grab my third image and drag it into this cell. The alternate text will be 3. I hit OK. And I reduce the size to 150 and 150. Grab my fourth image and drag it into this cell. Alternate text will be 4. I hit OK. And I reduce the size to 150 and 150. Fifth one, 5. Hit OK. 150, 150. And the last one. Here we go. Now I left an empty column and an empty row between my images to position them. So let's do that real quick. Let's select the first column and it's going to be 150 pixels wide, just like the images. Let's select the second column and it's going to be 25 pixels wide. Select the third column, 150, fourth, 25, and the last one, 150. Cool, and I have a table cell below my images for some text. So in the first one, I just type in image one. Just type in whatever you want and just type in image 2 in the second one, image 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, I select this row and I want it to be 40 pixels tall and I align my text center to the top. Same thing with this row, selected 40 pixels tall, center, top. All right, now you could link your images to the images themselves. So if users click one of your images, the actual image will open in the browser. 
let me just show you I select the first image and I just link it to the image itself and by default there is a border on the linked images you can see it right here but I want to get rid of it so I just change the border to zero hit my enter key and it's gone now if you want your image to open in a new tab just change the target to blank I'm not gonna do that let's preview our gallery in a browser yes save changes and here's our gallery we click the image and the image opens in the browser now this is just the original PNG file as you can see but you could also create pages that hold one image per page with the next and the previous link on them linking to the next and the previous page let me show you what I mean go back to Dreamweaver and let's go under file and new and let's create a new HTML page no layout just click create and let's save this page real quick the file name will be one.html for image one click save and here's the page let's go to the insert panel command tab and select table and this time let's do two rows and one column 500 pixels wide just like the images zero border zero cell padding and zero cell spacing and no header no caption and no summary and hit OK and here's the table and just align center and in the first row I type in previous gallery and next and this table cell will be 40 pixels tall and I align my text center and now just drop my first image into this cell and the alternate text will be one I hit OK and here we go I just link gallery back to the gallery page and before we do anything else let's save this page and now let's create all six pages out of this page I just select it and I press Ctrl D or Command D on the Mac to create a copy of this page I need four more copies four alright let's name these pages this one will be 2.html this will be 3.html 4 5 and 6 I hit refresh and here we go now I just have to link my pages I open up page 1 and uh, I link next to the next page which is page 2 and since this is page 1 there is no previous page so I just leave that unlinked I open up page 2 and first off I select the image and I switch it to the second one the alternate text will be 2 and uh, and now I just link previous to page 1 and next to page 3 I open up page 3 I switch the image to image 3 the alternate text will be 3 and I link previous to the previous page which is 
page two and next to the next one page four I open up page four switch the image and the alternate text will be four link previous to page three and next to page five I open up page five I switch the image alternate text will be five I link previous to page four and next to page six I open up page six I switch the image alternate text and I link previous to page five and there is no next page so I just leave that unlinked go back to my gallery and I just link the images to the actual pages and select the first image and I link it to page one border will be zero select the second image I link it to page two border will be zero select the third one link border zero fourth fifth and the last one all right now I just close and save my pages Let's preview our gallery in a browser. Yes, save changes. And here's our gallery. I click the first image and I can go back and forth. And it's working awesome. So this is how you do it. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more videos from me, go to my website, easywebdesignsystem.com and join my list. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.